Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 4 mathematics class. So in chapter 2, we were learning about addition and subtraction. I hope the concepts are clear to you. So today, we'll have a revision session. So in page number 34 of your textbook, you can see the heading, revision station. We'll discuss the questions in that page today. So let's move on to the first question. So let's add the following and you have four questions there. Let's see the first one. 34,266 plus 13,242. Let's add the numbers and find the sum. Here, where do we start the addition? We start adding the ones, then we add the tens and then proceed to the higher places. So let's start with the ones. 6 plus 2 is 8. 6 plus 4 is 10. Carry over 1. 2 plus 2 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. 3 plus 4 it is 7. And 1 plus 3 it is 4. So that would be the answer to the first one. Now the second one. 5 plus 3 8. 5 plus 3 again 8. 3 plus 2 5. 6 plus 5 11. Carry over 1. 2 plus 5 7. Plus 1 a. So that would be the answer to the second question. We'll discuss all the questions first. Then you can go back to the questions and work out them and write the answers. Now. We'll see the third question. It is 7 lakh 63,767 plus 1 lakh 24,512. Let's add the ones first. 7 plus 2, 9. 6 plus 1, 7. 5 plus 7 is 12. Carry over 1. Here it is 8. 6 plus 2, again 8. And 8. So that would be the sum of question C. Now question D. It is 5 here. 10. Carry over 1. 6 plus 7, 13 plus 1, it is 14. Carry over 1, 5 plus 3, 8 plus 1, 9. 2 plus 2, 4. And 8 plus 6, it is 14. So, it is 14 lakh 49,405. Let's discuss the question number 2. Subtract the following. Question A, 24,364 minus 15,623. Where do we start the subtraction? We subtract the ones first, then the tens, then proceed to the higher places. So let's do the calculation now. Now here it is 4 ones minus 3 ones is 1. 6 minus 2 it is 4. 3 minus 6 we cannot do. So what we do? We borrow from the next higher place. So let's borrow 1000 from the thousands place and give it to the hundreds place. So in hundreds place we have 13 instead of 300s. Now 13 minus 6, it is 7. Now here the 4 was changed to 3. Again, 3 minus 5, we cannot do. So let's borrow one ten thousand from the ten thousands place and give that to the thousands place. So in thousands place we have 13 minus 5 equal to 8 thousands. And in the ten thousands place, the 2 was changed to 1. So 1 minus 1, here it is 0. So the difference here is 8741. Now question B. Here you cannot do 5 minus 7. So you borrow 110 from the tens place and give it to the ones place. So here it is that 10 plus 5, 15. Now 15 minus 7 is 8. And here the 7 is changed to 6. Now 6 minus 6 it is 0. Now 5 minus 3 it is 2. 6 minus 4 it is 2. 4 minus 2, again 2. So here the answer is uh, 22,208. Now let's discuss the next two questions. So here we cannot do 2 minus 8. So let's borrow. So 1 is borrowed from here, 110. That is being given to the 1's place. So that 10 plus 2 that we already have makes it 12 ones. So 12 ones minus 8 gives you 4 ones. Now in the 10's place we have 5 now again you cannot do 5 minus 7 so let's borrow again so that will make this one 15 tens minus 7 gives you 8 tens now in the hundreds place the 7 is changed to 6 now 6 minus 3 it is 3 now here we cannot do 3 minus 6 we borrow and that will make this one 13 13 thousands minus 6 thousands give you 7 thousands now here this 2 was changed to 1. Let's borrow again. So this will become 11. 11 minus 3, it is 8. And here 
the 7 is changed to 6. So, the 6 minus y it is 1. So, the answer here is this one. Now, question D. 5 minus 2 it is 3. 2 minus 3 we cannot do. So, we borrow and that will make this one 12. 12 minus 3 it is 9. Here it is 7. Again we borrow. Now, it is 17 minus 8 again 9. Again we borrow. It is 12. 12 minus 3 9. Again we borrow and 11 minus 9 it is 2. 8 minus 6 it is 2. So, that is question D. Now, Let's discuss question number 3. Estimate the answer of the following by rounding off the numbers to the nearest thousand. You have already learned how to find the uh, estimated sum and estimated difference. So, to find the estimated sum, first we round off each of the add-ins to the nearest 10, 100, 1000 and so on. Then we will add up the rounded off add-ins to get the estimated sum. Now, what about the estimated difference to find the difference estimate we first round off the minimum as well as the subtrahend to the nearest 10 hundred thousand or so on then we'll subtract the rounded off minimum and the subtrahend to get the estimated difference so now let's do the calculations the first one is an addition problem so we have to find the estimated sum so the first one is 25,623 plus 13,000 425. So let's round off each of these add-ins to the nearest thousands first. So 25,623. To round off to the nearest thousand, the rounded digit is 5. The digit to the right of it is 6, which is more than 5. So let's add 1 to the rounding digit. So that will make this one 6 and change the hundreds, tens and thousands to Sorry, hundreds, tens and ones to zeros. So, this one rounded off will be 26,000. Now, what about the next addend? 13,425. Here, the round digit is 3. Digit to the right of it is 4, which is less than 5. So, let's keep the rounding digit as it is and change the hundreds, tens and ones to zeros. So, that will give you 13. Thousand. Now we have to add the rounded of add-ins to get the estimated sum. So that is 6 plus 3, 9 and this is the estimated sum. Now let's see question B. Question B has, it's a subtraction problem. So let's first round off the minimum. So 53,435. So the rounded digit is 3. To the right of it, you have 4. So, after rounding off, you get 53,000. Now, the subtrahend 25,356. Here, after rounding off, you get 25,000. Now, let's subtract to get the estimated difference. So, that will give you 3 minus 5 you cannot do, so you borrow. So 13 minus 5 is 8, 4 minus 2, 2. So here the estimated difference is 28,000. Now let's see the third question, question C. 6,32,623 minus 3,43,626. Let's round off the numbers first. So it's 6,32,623. The rounding digit is 2, to the right of it you have 6, so 2 becomes 3 and all the places to the right of it is changed to zeros. So that will make this one 6,33,000. Then the subtrahend. The subtrahend is 3,43,626. Rounding digit here is 3, to the right of it you have 6. So, this will become 4, this, 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 all these become zeros. So, that will give you 3,44,000. Now, let's do the subtraction to get the estimated difference. Here's zeros, 3 minus 4 you cannot do. So, you borrow. So, this becomes 13, this becomes 2. Now, 13 minus 4, it's 9. 
you cannot do 2 minus 4 so again you borrow so here you have 12 minus 4 8 5 minus 3 2 so here the estimated difference is 2 lakh 89 thousand let's do the question D now the minimum 8, 8 lakh 23 thousand 723 after rounding off will give you 8 lakh 24,000. Now, the subtrahend 8 lakh 12,723. Here, after rounding off, you'll get 8 lakh 13,000. So, let's do the subtraction now. Yeah, zeros 4 minus 6 is 1 it's 1 and 0 so here yeah, the estimated difference is 11,000